they have metal detectors in here and all that. There's no way that these children should be in fear of coming to school. But shortly after students arrived at Digital Harbor High, they found the school on lockdown. Baltimore City Police tell 11 News officers responded to a call about an armed person. They arrived and searched the entire school building. A parent sent us this video showing officers around the campus. City police did not find a gun. School police continued the investigation. Let me have my son. My son is scared to be in the school. Parents apparently found out about the lockdown in various ways. I was at work crying, crying tears, trying to get to my baby. Some say their children contacted them. My son texted me and told me the SWAT was up here. I said, why is the SWAT up here? He said, apparently a kid might have brought a gun to school. Again? Come on now. This don't make sense. I know that they have counselors. They have good teachers. And it's a very good school. Donald Philippe says he learned about the incident while texting the principal about another situation involving his son. This is the response he got. I get a contact on the text, stated there's, a, there's something going on. I was not told what was going on. So, and I, see, I asked what was going on and there was no answer about it. Katria Reddick says this is the fifth time since January she has come to the school because of a possible security threat. The lockdown, according to a city school spokeswoman, was lifted just after 11 this morning. She says there was no reason for further concern and operations returned to normal. A parent who asked that we not show her face says this is causing trauma. Aggravated, stressed, and emotionally, I try to hold it because of my son, or what he's going through, and I can't show my youngest because I have a youngest also in school. So I try to hold it tight for him, which it probably will kick in later because it's like, okay, if I wake up tomorrow, I got to worry myself sick to see, make sure he's okay. The school district says it has made counseling available to students. Reporting from Federal Hill, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.